It appears that the emergence of the machines is closer than we may like to believe. Belarusian TV source Nexta captioned an X tape of the purported incident, which has received over 100,000 views with the words, this is what the machine uprising might look like. The eerie video, which was taken at an unnamed facility in China, shows the robot hanging from a construction crane on the factory floor close to two guys who are watching warily, according to Jam Press. The two are engaged in conversation when the automated biped suddenly loses control and begins thrashing its arms and legs in a manner reminiscent of a botched prototype from the Robocop films. At one moment, as the men attempt to avoid being Robobopped, the angry machine lurches forward while swinging, dragging the stand with it. Amidst the chaos, a number of other objects are knocked off the table and the computer crashes to the ground. In an attempt to halt the angry automaton's cybernetic rampage, one of the men flanks it and pulls its stand back into position as the video ends. Linux M20 The newly launching Linux M20 series robot has been teased to assure its users with omni-terrain operations and have a lightweight design. It provides an ultra-large activity range and is freely transformable. An IP66 rated body is part of it, along with 20 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius operational temperature, promising upgraded extreme environment adaptability. Furthermore, it is capable of overcoming challenging terrains with its powerful movements. Speaking more, its lightweight design for quick response makes it backpack size, offering easy portability, and a single person is enough to carry it around without any difficulties. The agile build of the Linux M20 series unlocks its mobility in more scenarios, and it will be able to pass through 50-centimeter narrow passages seamlessly. All-weather intelligent power inspection is also a notable spec of the robot, and it equips a 96-line LiDAR sensor for high-quality point clouds. An effective payload capacity of 15 kilograms is also an added spec, allowing users to port or deliver things to others. Also to add, its build quality lets it travel through small water bodies too without getting damaged. Figure's Humanoid Robots Figure has secured its first commercial agreement and is deploying its multi-purpose humanoid robots to begin practical work at BMW's South Carolina production facility. Brett Adcock, the founder and CEO, walks us through this awkward situation. Only 10 months after emerging from stealth mode, Figure has advanced its robots at an alarming rate. Thanks to a highly skilled staff, the company was able to have working prototypes within a year of development. This was accomplished at a remarkable rate when compared to everything this side of Boston Dynamics' acrobatic Atlas bot. The business revealed video of the Figure 01 robot brewing coffee on its own after receiving a voice instruction just over a week ago, marking yet another milestone. The robot learned how to operate the coffee maker on its own after seeing a number of video demos, which Adcock referred to as a chat GPT moment for the business. And it's now fulfilling its pledge to get the bots working on actual beneficial tasks as soon as possible. Figure has began finding initial use cases at BMW's Spartanburg facility, under a recently signed commercial deal with BMW Manufacturing Co. LLC. Additionally, Figure has started training the bots for a phase deployment on-site. Imoga Omoda Robot, a humanoid robot developed by Chinese company Sherry International, could soon be delivering the sales pattern in a car showroom near you. The Amoga Robot is described as the first embodied intelligent humanoid in the Sherry brand, Smart Ecosystem, by its makers. They intend it to be used as an intelligent sales consultant, capable of everything from serving drinks to leading dealership tours, or giving you the lowdown on the latest mode. It may seem far-fetched, but the rapid development of artificial intelligence and robotics tech means you could be interacting with a sales robot sooner than you think. Morning has already got experience under its belt as a sales consultant at an Omoda and JQ dealer in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Tesla Bot Gen 3 at the core of Tesla's Optimus lies a series of high-torque electric motors that depend on powerful, compact magnets, many of which are made using rare earth elements like neodymium and dysprosium. Light, these elements give magnets the strength needed to make humanoid robots walk, grip, and interact with the world in a natural way. 
The problem? Roughly 90% of the world's rare earth magnet production is controlled by China. In recent months, China has tightened export restrictions on key rare earth processing technologies and required companies like Tesla to obtain licenses to import these materials. These moves are widely seen as part of a larger geopolitical strategy to retain control over vital tech supply chains and could delay Tesla's ability to scale production. Optimus isn't just progressing on the supply side, it's also evolving rapidly in form and function. Tesla recently unveiled videos showing the robot walking with more natural gait mechanics, thanks to reinforcement learning in simulated environments. The new model walks heel to toe with arm sway, mimicking human motion more convincingly than ever before. Evo Logic's Quadrant Penguins are fast, fantastic swimmers, so why not make an underwater robot inspired by them? That's just what German underwater tech company Evo Logics has done with its new and improved Quadrone AUV, Autonomous Underwater Vehicle. The Quadrone is the descendant of an experimental AUV known as the Penguin, which Evo Logics unveiled at an outdoor demo in 2020. That bot was created in collaboration with Professor Burkard Baschek of the Helmholtz Zentrum. Here on Research Institute and its design drew upon Dr. Rudolf Bonisch's field studies of Adelie penguin locomotion. In fact, the general idea goes back considerably further than that. In 2009, Evo Logics developed a penguin-like concept demonstrator for German electrical automation firm Festo. That gizmo was called the Aqua Penguin. Like the penguin, it was intended for use in the Helmholtz Zentrum here on Institute's MUM initiative. As a key part of that project, swarms of the AUVs would gather data on ocean eddies via onboard sensors. Among other things, those instruments were capable of measuring the water's temperature, pressure, oxygen content, conductivity, and fluorescence at various depths. Chinese Humanoid Factory on social media today, a 20-second video taken inside a Chinese humanoid robot factory is stirring up some controversy. It displays a variety of partially skinned, incredibly lifelike humanoids in the process of being built. In contrast to the majority of the general-purpose humanoids we typically cover, which are made to appear like robots rather than attempting to trick anyone, the video, which was uploaded by user Mimai4515, is uncredited but features multiple moving androids with human-like skin and hair. It features a strange tree of humanoid arms, flexing and whirling their white-fingered hands in unison, completely human-like presenter types in shirts and pants, rows of attractive cyborg ladies and disembodied heads on stands. For all intents and purposes, it resembles a gritty version of the backstage workshop at Westworld, in order to show off the company's capacity to create unique animatronic mascots and presenters for corporate clients, the museum lets visitors drive a humanoid head with their own facial expressions using motion capture. Additionally, there is a rotating dais that you can stand on for three minutes to have it 3D scanned, and there might be a facility to have body parts 3D printed, as seen in the following video from China Global Television Network. Black Panther 2.0 a team from China has introduced a high-speed marvel in the form of a robotic dog, Black Panther 2.0, which has broken into the exclusive 10-second club of the 100-meter sprint. Created by Zhejiang University in collaboration with the Hangzhou startup MirrorMe, this 38-kilogram, 0.63-meter-tall robot is setting new benchmarks in the capabilities of machines. With a stride frequency reaching up to 5 strides per second, it has completed a 100-meter dash in under 10 seconds, surpassing many human sprinters. This achievement places Black Panther 2.0 far ahead of its predecessor, the Hound Robot from Korea's Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, which took 19.87 seconds to cover the same distance. Though it still cannot rival the fastest land animals, such as cheetahs or ostriches, this robotic innovation is rapidly narrowing the gap between organic and mechanical movement. Inspired by nature, Black Panther 2.0 boasts a biomimetic design, drawing influence from various creatures. Its carbon fiber shins, inspired by the Jerboa desert rodent, offer 135% more stiffness with only a 16% increase in weight.
Additionally, its spring-loaded knee joints mimic the shock-absorbing flexibility of a Black Panther. The robot's running shoes, inspired by cheetah claws, provide an impressive 200% improvement in grip performance. Pudu Robotics While we've heard a lot about humanoid robots lately, the technical requirements for their bipedal walking gait will likely keep them quite expensive, and thus little seen. By contrast, the semi-humanoid flashbot arm is something you might actually encounter sometime soon. The bot is being manufactured by Chinese company Pudu Robotics, which does in fact also offer a full-body humanoid robot known as the D9. That said, the flashbot arm is more closely related to the firm's Flashbot Max, which is essentially a wheeled cube designed to autonomously deliver items within buildings. As you might have guessed by its name and the images, the Flashbot arm is basically the Flashbot Max with an added set of arms and a 10.1-inch touchscreen face. The three jointed arms each boast 7 degrees of freedom and are equipped with Pudu's 11 degree of freedom, DH11 robotic hands. This setup gives the robot an operational reach of up to 2 meters, 6.6 .6 feet, which it can use for tasks like grasping and carrying objects, pressing buttons such as those in elevators, and swiping card keys to access restricted areas. One of the most obvious uses for the Flashbot arm is the delivery of items to guests in hotels. Pudu also suggests that it could be utilized in settings like office buildings, restaurants, retail spaces, and healthcare facilities. Thanks to its AI-based large language models, along with its mic and speaker, the robot is reportedly capable of engaging in basic conversation with human users, who can verbally issue delivery instructions to the device.